Welcome to the edit and upload video. So in this video we will show you the upload process as well as the editing process in more detail. So first of all you can load your designs by choosing any folder. You can select them and delete them from the list by hitting delete or the backspace button on your keyboard. You could tear the whole list by pressing the empty button. You could also select all your designs and drag and drop them into the list. So now we can just select one and start editing. Let's say we prefer to edit the design in English. Hit the title, put in some descriptions. You could also use the, the description suggestion, which is flying upload is offering. Just right click and select one you like and replace the placeholders by some keywords you would like to use. Next, getting to the keywords, you can just enter your keywords, hit enter, then flying upload, it is separating them with a comma, and the counter is uh, updated. So you can also use the keyword finder, just hit search all, and then you can search for one keyword in all four different search engines. You can also operate the search engines individually by searching for a sp more specific keyword. Um, if you're finding some keywords you would like to use, just left click them and by doing so you're adding them into your tag list. After getting all your keywords, hit save and apply them. We can now switch to the German language and let Flying Upload translate all our text. The translation works in both directions. You could, for example, translate from German to English or from English to German then set your type and open Amazon window. Amazon handles the things a bit different, so there is a specific window for doing that. Here you can select the price, colors. The title and the description are already preset or flying uploaded is, set, is it setting them by using the data you are entered at the edit window. Then just um, put in the brand, this bullet point one and bullet point two and then you're good to go. So after entering the text in, in German now, we can switch to the English language and let Flying Upload translate all our text. So basically the translation works the same as in the edit window. You can translate in both directions from German to English or from English to German. Once the translation is complete, just hit save and apply all the data. So what we can see now is that we created our first XML file. So these XML files store all the data we have entered at flying upload. So now we can switch to the second design and copy all the data from the first design. So what we see now is that we got the second XML file by copying all data from the first file. By using the function bulk copy, we can copy the data of one design to all other designs in just one step. So what we see now is we got six XML, XML files based on the first design. So just change the color of two specific designs because white looks better. And now we can open the design overview. Here we can check our designs, if they look good on the color we selected and if the title, description and text are right. Just to double check. Looks fine, all right. So we can go to the upload process. So now we are getting to the upload. It is basically the same concept as in the edit window. You can just select your designs and drag and drop them into the list. Please keep in mind that it Will, the design will only appear in the list if an XML, XML file is created. So now Flying Upload is uploading your designs completely automated um, for Spreadshirt.
one of the great functionalities are that you can start, pause, or continue, or stop your uploads at any any time. So now it is entering all the data, and let's say we found a spelling mistake, so we can pause and correct our spelling mistake or change whatever we would like to change. After finishing, we can just hit continue and it is continuing to upload. So now let's say we want to start spreadsheet.de as well. So now two upload instances are running at the same time. All upload instances are acting completely individually, so you can pause each upload um, on its own, and you can upload different designs to different platforms at the same time. Please keep in mind that the amount of upload instances you can start at each time depends on your computer, but two upload instances at once should be possible at all time and for all PCs. So let's say we uploaded a wrong design to spreadsheet.de, we can just delete it and then stop the upload process. Okay, so now we want to upload three specific designs to Redbubble, then we add all our designs, delete the ones we don't want to upload, and then start the Redbubble instance. And this is showing how the upload instances are acting individually, and now Spreadshirt is uploading all designs, all six, and Redbubble would only upload the three designs we put into the list. So during the uploads in the background, you could do something else. You could, for example, edit another design or you can use another program, for example, Photoshop or Illustrator to design new designs. In this case, we want to edit our gaming design. Hit the title. Copy it to the description, add some text. And then set type and sure we have to translate it. Please keep in mind that the upload instances can run in the background, but you should not minimize them or close them. So now we got an XML file for our design and Spreadshirt has finished its uploading process. At the end we are getting an upload report as well as we can still check all our designs at the dashboard. It looks fine so we hit OK and go back to the upload window. So in the next video we will show you some tools and tricks for the edit window.